I love big legs. That's a boss bitch. Uh -huh, bitch, try again. What's up? Like, what's up? What's going on, insane gang? Sis, it's me back in the motherfucking video, bitch. As y'all can see today, I am back home in the chat town. You know how we do, how we did. All streaming platforms, fucking YouTube music, Spotify, Apple music, fucking music, bitch, everything, everywhere, my album will be available for you to listen to. And I'm also gonna post it on my channel because I know it's a lot of bitches on YouTube who trying to make music, trying to rap and all that shit. I'm not them hoes, but we know I'm not them hoes. So we're not gonna compare myself to them. Tonight on all platforms, I really need all y'all to come support me. I have never ever on my channel asked y'all for no money. I have not get on here and beg y'all for shit. I have not get on here and say, oh, can y'all please go get my fucking, use my promo code for some shit. I never did no shit like that because I don't believe in using my, you know, my personality for money. Like, I know I'm a, you know, a special type of bitch. Like, you know, I, I'm funny, you know, I'm, I'm energetic, I'm loud, I'm cool and all of that stuff, but I wouldn't use that to manipulate y'all into, like, you know, giving me money or shit like that. Like, I appreciate that. I'm not gonna be like, oh, no, don't send me no money because, bitch, I need that shit. But, you know, I never, ever got on YouTube all, all these years of me being on here and ask y'all to do anything for me or just to, like, you know, Basically, just like go out of y'all way for me. So this is the only time I'm asking y'all. Y'all really, 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 can y'all please stream my album? Like I really, really put a lot of work into it. I've gave my motherfucker producers hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars. All my songs is variety. I'm giving you bars. I'm giving you twerking. I'm giving you bitch. I'm giving you everything. My album is literally everything. Like I made the cover art myself. I made the video videography uh, for the cover art myself. I made the song list myself. I wanted to make some songs for y'all, like for y'all people, like people like me who just like binge as hell, don't give a fuck, like y'all need something to bop to when you getting dressed, it'll just make you feel like a badass bitch, like I always get on here, give y'all positive energy, positive vibes, like my energy, my motherfucking album is gonna make you feel like the baddest bitch ever, I, I promise you. Okay, so this is gonna be Justin Cabaret episode 9. Um, this is the one where, like, they had the natural, the, um, the aftermath to natural, and Yummy getting into it, and when they got the whole, like, thing about Jocelyn blowing up on all the girls, they tried to get Yummy to, she tried to get the fucking girls to jump on Yummy ass, which she wasn't wrong. So we talked the episode with her to the natural, like, you got five minutes to pack your shit and get the fuck out of the house. Jocelyn knows she had a bad girls club moment, whether she wanna, whether she wanna admit it or not, she knows she had a bad girls club moment when she like, bitch, pack your shit, pack your shit, and get the fuck out of this house. She knows she felt it like she was on bad girls club for Natalie and her and Natalie got that look spat going on that's probably on they, they gonna get into it at some point you already know this is gonna make both of the views of their shows go up they on the same network like jocelyn versus natalie bitch everybody want to see that bdc moment bitch pack your shit pack your shit and get the fuck out of my house so then jocelyn said that she would have beat natural ass that she lucky as she didn't go off on her ass and i feel like she would have too then she tell everybody to go in their room and she want like a big ass rant and talking about like natural got the wrong bitch for her to be jumping over my motherfucking face and then she always talk about some bitch named tamika behind the camera every time jocelyn get mad she starts screaming at this bitch tamika who the fuck is Tamika? I didn't heard Tamika every time she next question Tamika. Next question Tamika. So the natural um upset crying her room, crying her room so she tried to set, separate herself because she got her own issues with her son. Heard that Jocelyn said said that about her, and then she was like, Oh, she don't deserve me. Like that bitch don't deserve me being here. Then Jocelyn outside just like standing there like that key me because this bitch just standing outside like listening, like not saying she literally just like froze as fuck. And she just like listening to this bitch. She like, get the fuck out of this house, bitch. She got five minutes to get the fuck out of the house. So then that's a natural up in the time out. Like, she's so talented. She don't want to be seen as a porn star to that bitch. I don't want them to see me as that. But like, you could be a porn star and be a talented to that bitch. Like, you could do hella other shit. Like, I started off doing YouTube and now I want to move into bitch acting, modeling, music, anything. Cause I know I'm a talented ass bitch. So like, I'm pretty sure everybody always gonna be like, oh, that's that YouTube ass bitch. Cause bitch, I'm from YouTube, but bitch. I know for a fact I'm gonna let my talent speak for itself, so can't no bitch play with me. So she shouldn't have came about the thing like saying, Oh, I wanna I wanna do this, this and that bitch. No, start doing this, this and that better than every other bitch and that on that note, bitch is gonna respect you anyway, regardless of where the fuck you came from. Period. That's when Jocelyn and said, like, everybody with a camera, get the fuck out. Bitch, when I tell you them hoes ran out that motherfucking room, bitch, this is not no, no Natalie EP shit, bitch. Them hoes, they bitch say, anybody with a camera, get the fuck out that room. Them bitches ran down like the motherfucking Stampede, bitch. Now, that's the EP, bitch. That's the executive producer type of bitch. That bitch say, everybody with a camera, get out the room. Them bitches say, 
Pack that shit up too quick. Don't play with Jocelyn, bitch. She will fire you, hoe. Jocelyn called Yummy out by her room and say, bitch, you did that on purpose. You don't fool me. And then that's when Yummy was trying to like explain herself. She's like, be quiet. <laughs> be quiet. Treating her little ass, bitch. She needs to get treated because that was snaky as fuck. I don't like that little bitch, Yummy. I'm sorry. I don't like what she did. I'm not fucking with her energy. Fuck with her bab. She give me them little bitches that be doing that. It be little slack, sneaky ass hoes that be trying to come in your face and act all small and innocent. Whole time, they be the main bitches plotting on you. No bab. They be the main hoes plotting on you for real. Jocelyn say she got what she wanted and she said that she disrespected her by um you know opening her dick suckers and somehow she wouldn't even fucking talking to you. Jocelyn loved his dick suckers. You open your dick suckers and you talking when bitch nobody was talking to you. So then Yummy say um Jocelyn making a big scene because she didn't want to say it herself in her confessional and then Jocelyn say like she believed that Yummy an evil ass person because like bitch when she said she was defending her at first telling her like oh she's small you trying to bully her but like now that she's seen that herself like bitch you toxic as fuck or you evil so i'm glad she's seen your true colors and we all is that's when yummy got scared and thought um miss natural was running up on her ass out the motherfucking room this bitch said and then go turn back around and then just was like i like scared like like scared <laughs> That shit was funny as hell, cause she gonna come out and mop your ass. Jocelyn funny as fuck. She said, I'm not scared now, cause she gonna come out and mop your ass. I should've let her mop your ass, bitch. And Jocelyn like, bitch, you probably been sneaky the whole time you been here. And Yummy was like, no, she haven't been being sneaky. And then Jocelyn say like, the little girl games that you playing, like bitches play out, we tired of that shit. And it really is like, girl, you trying to, I mean, that might just be her voice. Like she might not be trying to play the little girl games, but like the way she be like dragging her words and trying to like, like in her confessional, she sound a little different than what she do on the show. It's like, bitch, and that but bitch ain't doing nothing. Da -da -da -da. Like, she sound a lot different, so she probably is, like, trying to, like, make her voice sound a little more kitty, so bitches don't whoop her ass, bitch. I don't go for, I would've bopped her right in her motherfucking pom-poms, bitch. So then, Jocelyn say she gonna send everybody home and do the performance by herself. She got mad, so she gonna let the girls jump on, um, Yummy because she fucked up, and I'm like, that's, that's, that sound like a good solution, bitch. Jump on that bitch, because she fucking up all y'all spots. Um, what's a hyena to, uh, uh, goddess and lion? Yummy was talking her shit in the confession, and this is like, girl, for you to be so small and you should be popping your shit like that, talking about some, oh, if, if this bitch try to fight me, it's up and it's stuck, or bitch, I ain't worried about no bitch fighting me. Like, girl, you talking your big shit. So if this reunion bitch, when they beat your ass, I'm not gonna feel bad for you. Cause bitches that talk all that shit and be trying to do all that little neck rolling and shit, and then me the bitch that be crunching right in that shit. Bitch, who, wham, bitch, who is you talking to, hoe? Then they wanna dig they motherfucker face from outside their neck and wanna look, uh, nah, bitch, don't play with me, hoe. You said you was big and bad like that, it's up and it's stuck, bitch. I'ma show you ass up, and they need to stick her ass. So then boss tag creep out the room like, she like, um, why we all going home? So then Jocelyn like, bitch, since you want to snake your ass out the motherfucking room, bitch, she call it house meeting. I think at the motherfucking house meeting or whatever, and everybody talking about how they upset because Jocelyn talking about everybody got to get the fuck out, and Yummy walk in, and Jocelyn like, let me tell you hoes what the fuck this bitch did. Like, your mama be like, you know, talking shit because, like, you did something bad, and she'll go to your siblings and be like, y'all, this is why this bitch getting her ass beat. Tell your brothers and sisters what the fuck that gave me the vibe. Like, this is very giving me, like, mama vibes. Like, Jocelyn and the mama, and she just whooping all her kids all day. So then Jocelyn, um, tell the girls what Yummy did and then Big Lex looked like she was already finna beat Yummy ass. I already know I, anybody that didn't give a fuck about beat Yummy ass. I actually thought Big Lex was just gonna swing on her ass cause that bitch look instantly like like y'all know how Big Lex be looking like she be like and then she beat a bitch up. So then Yummy say like she wasn't thinking when she said it. And Jocelyn said yes, she were because she started to believe Miss Natural. Like bitch, you plotted. You trying to act like you weren't thinking about what you was thinking of. But you know what the fuck you did. So that's when she tell the girls that she wanna um send all the girls home and do the performance by herself. And then Sapphire like Sapphire like sit in front of Yummy and she like bitch, I don't come at you aggressive because you little, but bitch, everybody ready to whoop your ass. At this point, girl, you talking about some like oh she wasn't doing nothing. She was just barking. I said that just to make her mad. But it's just like if you say something out of the way to make her mad. And you talking about, oh, she not doing nothing but no barking and it's, it's up and it's stuck with you. Bitch, when she got up and got in your face, you should have been up and it's stuck with her ass. You should have got up and swung on her. But what you do, you took some shit that you overheard and slid it in the conversation instead of fighting. But you, but it's up and it's stuck about you. I don't like that, girl. You're giving me really bad bass. I don't know if that's how your personality is. In person, it's just a show. But bitch, you giving me like you really like a slash snake ass bitch. Jocelyn say she got exactly what she wanted and she got natural, natural to go off of because, you know, natural kind of like started yelling at Jocelyn. And Loki, Jocelyn, she kind of deserved natural like yelling at her because, bitch, you was not giving her no opportunity to like fucking answer your question. Like, she didn't ask her question and then she'll start talking over her. Like, she asked ask another question and then she'll start talking over her. Like, that shit would make me mad too because, like, girl, you're not, you asking me questions, but you're not letting me explain myself. So then Yummy say it wasn't her mission to get natural out, it was Jocelyn, but now she wanna flip the script and do it to her. I mean, I don't feel like it was her mission to get her out either, but I feel like now that they into it, it probably would have been her mission to get her out, but I don't feel like she, she said that in order for her to get mad at Jocelyn so her, for her to get out. I think she just said that just to hurt her feelings, but I don't think she really wanted her to leave. And Jocelyn say that's that Virgo shit, like y'all manipulative, 
because y'all always want y'all way and you can't fuck with no Scorpio ass bitch. Justin said either they both leave or one of them leave. And when she said that, I know they both was gonna stay because bitch, I know they wasn't gonna stay in natural home for no reason. She didn't put her hands on Jocelyn. She just got mad and like that was good te television anyway. So they're not gonna take away the good television when people wanna see their beef and see where it goes. So I knew for a fact they weren't gonna stay in Miss Natural Home. So now they go to the, the scene where Jocelyn and Sapphire up in the pool talking or whatever. And it's the first time I seen like, you know, what Sapphire was talking about when she was talking about, like her ass shot went to the wrong place. I seen her butt like, you know, was like fucked up, but like you could see like it was a little like misshapen, bubbly and bulgy in some papers. So it kinda looked a little botchy. She just like wanna teach the next bitches like, you know, don't just go to no Ricky D gas bitch and get fucking like Coke canola or you put in your ass. So that's when Jocelyn man had got mad at her for getting naked at the pool, bitch. I I didn't believe that shit at all. I feel like that was set up low key, like bitch. He know damn well Jocelyn ass was a stripper back in the day. We didn't see this bitch titties way before, like her titties on Zeus is nothing new, baby. Like, this bitch, you can look up on YouTube, Jocelyn Hernandez titties, and bitch, they will pop up. You, you doing all this, I carry my woman to a high standard trying to be taking me back to Africa, or Zabawe, neck ass bitch. You talking to Jocelyn Hernandez. The bitch is known for being a stripper turned reality star. Like, it ain't like this bitch or none. Sapphire pointed out that it's only a few that um that deserve to be there, and if they're gonna be representing Jocelyn Cabaret, they gotta have be able to be a lady and a rock star and do it the right way. So she said, Big Lex, Lexi Blow, Lucky, and her. So I feel like um by the dancing wise, I do not feel like Big Lex is like on her shit to be in the final four. I'm sorry. I've seen everybody dancing. She seemed like she be high as fuck most of the time, man. I don't know if I gotta remember some shit and I'm high as fuck. I'm probably not gonna pick up on it quick. But then they start talking about Yummy and how like they always over her and like she's really like, she used her sass in order to manipulate people to not be her ass. And they said it's not fair that um natural can get her chance blown by somebody else when she working hard. Cause I feel like natural was like trying to get the steps down and do what the fuck she had to do in order to, you know, be in a motherfucking cabaret. So then Jocelyn said she just needs time to see about what to do with um natural in her situation because the bitch that this bitch did like get loud and jump up in that bitch face and grow up. Bitch, you can't let no bitch disrespect you in your house. Cause once you let one bitch disrespect you, all them other hoes gonna start disrespecting her. Got the whole therapist scene when they bring like um Uncle Ruckus up in the motherfucking um, house or whatever and he started like talking to the girls individually. So I made sure I jotted down everybody's stuff individually so we can talk about each of every person scene because y'all know bitch I reviews bitch I reviews bitch so first we got lucky and then she talked about he got a hairpiece on but she did not have to bust him out like that girl he ain't got it if that's what make him feel sexy that's what make him feel sexy like girl you do not have to put him on blast like that we all know that motherfucker sharpie on top of his motherfucking head is not his come on now so then she said she had a conflict with one of the girls but she had to walk out like a dog what she did she walked that bitch like a dog no doubt she got her whack 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 and she want to start a self-care line and saying that dance to pay the bills but she got more goals than that which i see for lucky she don't seem like a dumb girl i could definitely see her doing other stuff like modeling acting like i could see her like a tyler perry movie now um, chanel said that she came to win and she drank every day that's what was the reason that she fell in front of jocelyn when they did the performance i'm like girl if you if you're in a dance competition and you know that drinking fucks you up when you start dancing why would you keep drinking a lot of y'all saying y'all got drinking problems but i just see y'all keep drinking one step to stopping your problem is to stop doing what the fuck the problem is and if you say i got a drinking problem but then every time we turn around you drinking then bitch you don't give a fuck about your problem bitch like you fucking fall on the stage and this up in the fucking competition and you don't want to stop drinking then you can't blame no other bitch but yourself like no doubt like bitch if you don't want to motherfucking do what you gotta do in order to win and that motherfucking liquor that's gonna be there after you motherfucking win it's, it's hindering you when it's liquor bottles on liquor bottles on demo if you win Jocelyn Capri bitch you getting free drinks everywhere you go bitch so that's what you can think about let me take my little sober break Doing what I gotta do, so when the fuck I do finish, I can probably like a motherfucking rock star, bitch. That's what you do. That's how a boss bitch do it. She talking about the she be shaking when she get drunk and it's messing up her inside of her body, cause like you know when you get drunk or you drink a lot, like you start going like it's just a poison to your body. So of course your body gonna fight it. So now we got Big Lex. I just love Big Lex. I love her energy. I love how she look. Like I love her gab. Like I just love everything about that bitch. I'm sorry, this is my favorite bitch. It's not even, y'all know I'm a violent bitch, so like her beating people ass kinda help. I really do just fuck with her energy. Like she is real laid back and cool, but she a smack a bitch if she has to. Like I never go in situations looking for problems, but if you tick me off bitch, so then that's what she's talking about. It's been going great for her. She ain't been taking no L. <laughs> they been saying, it's been going, it's been going great for me. He like, why you say like that? Cause I just been, ain't been taking no L's. Cause like, bitch, I've been banging these hoes out left and right. You ain't wrong. She said she had to get up on a bitch. And then after she did that, it was a new level of respect. Cause y'all remember in the beginning of the show, like everybody hated big legs but it was like once she beat the fuck out that girl two times like she beat her ass the first time then she they, she ran back up on her ass again then she beat her ass again bitch everybody was just like okay bitch we gonna have to be cool with this bitch because she knocking shit down once i established that new round of respect for hoes and once they got it together sometimes in the beginning you just gotta nip that shit in the bud and now bitches know how the fuck the rotation go that's a boss bitch 
I love big legs. That's a boss bitch. Yes, big legs. So let's go. And she say she got all the wink links out. And she just gotta eliminate them and flick them out. Like she not wrong, bitch. Eliminate the weak bitches. Like she a bad bitch. I love big legs. Next we got Sapphire. I mean, one thing about Sapphire I don't like. She low key do be kissing ass. She do be kissing Jocelyn ass like a motherfucker. And I, I know, I know it is like you know that's probably just her personality. She's a very like loyal girl. But tone it down. Like I'm not gonna cook no bitch breakfast and her man fucking breakfast. Like. I'm not cooking no bitch breakfast with her mother. Like, I cook Jocelyn's her breakfast with her show, but bitch, fuck her man, bitch. Like, that's bitch cooking. Cook your own man food, bitch. I just do like how how humble she is, and she's talking about how, like, she helping in her ways, the cabaret helping her in ways that she didn't expect, and she want to transition into, like, a better aspect of life and not to let her kids down. Lexi blows something, taking the, uh, the therapist was looking at her titties, one of her ass. I definitely felt that bad. When the therapist saw Lexi blow, he low key was in love. He gave me bad, so he was just like, oh shit, this bitch bad. Because Lexi blow is no bad the baddest bitch. Like, she to me, is the baddest bitch there. That bitch skin is so fat. That bitch tattoos are so fat. Her body built so bad. Like her booty jiggle really nice. Like that's the baddest bitch. No bad. I feel like it's her boss tech, big legs. I do like how big legs look because bitch, that's how black girls look. I like how ethnic black girls look like. She have a gap. It's cute. Like not every bitch gotta be Instagram model type looking like bitch. Miss Natural do look good as fuck when her face is big. Naturally pretty bitches, I'm gonna give it to them. No bad. Them big, them, them my big three. I give it to big legs. Boss Tech and um, Lexi Blow. No bad. Them the prettiest bitches to me. No bad. So, um, wait, I feel like I'm missing somebody. No, I'm not. Like, when she was 17, she got kicked out for being pregnant. Stepdad died. Then the therapist's like, so, your stepdad dying, like, does that make you sad? Is there any sadness coming from there? Like, bitch, duh. She said, like, bitch, a family member died. Anybody who family member dies, they're going to be sad. Like, that's just common fucking sad. You give me very, like, Laura the Life Coach vibes right now. <laughs> Pipe it down if I get to, to you. To you. She said, she said, it's disrespectful to you. Her her mom is good now. We're like, you know, that was just, like, tough love. So, she, like, you know, got her shit together and not had no babies without taken care of and I'm like you know sometimes you gotta kick your fucking kids out so they understand some bitch I feel like you shouldn't kick no pregnant ass girl out grown ass lady but I feel like some people might see that as tough love I see that as a better than your kid but hey so now we got boss tech one of my favorite bitches duh she said she opened us to talking because she you know she just got a drinking problem but then she asked her like how many drinks did she had she said this her fifth Jack Daniels and bitch if y'all don't know Jack Daniels I'm a itty bitty bitch okay like Body crazy, curvy wave. I'm a small bitch. I can literally take two shots of Jack Daniels and I could be fucked up for like the whole night. Jack Daniels gets you lit, bitch. So this bitch on her fifth cup of Jack Daniels, like, girl, slow down. She said she noticed her um drug problem or her alcohol problem four years ago. And she tried to stop, but it ain't work. She's saying it's affecting her behavior and she's on the verge of rock bottom because that's when like people usually go get help. So she said she want to stop drinking, but then she keep drinking. Like, that's the thing about boss tech. Like, you keep saying that you don't want to... You know, like, you want to stop drinking and prepare, but bitch, every scene we see you getting drunk. Do you really give a fuck, like, at the same time? Like, I don't even think she got no kids for real. So it's like, do you really got a drinking problem, bitch? You ain't got nobody to motherfucking look after, bitch. Like, you grown as hell, bitch. If you want to take a motherfucking drink, cheers, bitch. So now we got Yummy last, but I leave that. First of all, that bitch wig looked terrible. I don't know what the fuck wig she had on her, that motherfucking, um, Miss Trunch Bull ass. That gave me motherfucking Tracy from motherfucking, um, Hairspray, bitch. That motherfucking hump and the motherfucking bang. Bye. You know, that's how I know you, a bitch I can't fuck with. You got a hump and a bang in 2021 and it ain't even done right. Bitch, your shit already humped up here. Your bang start right after your hump. Bitch, you supposed to give me hump, bang, bitch. It's supposed to be like cute, bitch. Your shit, hump, bang. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, Jocelyn trying to get the whole house to turn against her and say that, um, the whole ha thing that happened around with Miss Natural happened because she was jealous of her. And I don't feel like Miss Natural would be jealous of her. Like, why would Miss Natural be jealous of Yummy when she looked better than her? I didn't get that. Like, why would it be stems from jealousy at all? She don't want to argue. Like, she said, if it get physical, then it's just gonna get physical. So I'm like, oh shit, so Yummy a fighter? You a, you a, bitch. You a fighter, huh? So she said, bitch, she don't do the back and forth talking shit. If it's up and it's stuck, it's up and it's stuck for her. So, hey, we need to see this reunion when they start tapping her shit. Because I know they just gonna tap that ass at the reunion. I want to see... Is it up and it's up with you, Miss Yummy? Because I heard she got into a lot of fights, too. She said she started dancing because her mom was homeless and she needed something to pay the bills, which I understand that was really nice. But her and her mom is really close, but her mom is an alcoholic. They also talked about it on the phone. I guess, like, when Jackson was on the phone with her, like, her mom was, like, drunk as fuck trying to get all in the camera and shit. And it was just like, girl, that also might stem from, like, her being toxic because she is a toxic bitch. No bad. Like, they tried to call Miss Natural Toxic, but Yummy is low-key toxic as hell. And toxic people be toxic because of shit that be going on at home. So then they see somebody happy. 
happy or see somebody like going through something and they try to make it even worse for you or they try to like act like they're your friend but try to just get your information so they can like use it against you. it be bitches like that like it be them niggas that be getting bullied at home by their dad or like you know not get enough love and stuff at home that'll that go to fucking school try to fight the gay boy isn't anybody that like you know they she clean to and like you know that she can rely on and then she said no she ever clean to anybody because she don't trust nobody in the house you clean to natural you smoke a whole weed you was drinking with her then you tell the therapist that you ain't clean to nobody in the house like that just give me fake vibes because it's like girl you could at least brought it up that like you know i got cool with somebody but it just didn't work out but you just say oh no i ain't been cool with no you not gonna bitch's daughter smoke that weed but you're not cool with them Girl, that's that's weak as hell. I'm sorry. So next one, the therapist tell her to write a note to Jocelyn and just talk to her about it. And I'm just like, girl, that shit not gonna work. Jocelyn is gonna spit in that fucking note and step on that shit. Now we got Miss Natural and Jocelyn in the bedroom having a little heart to heart moment or whatever. Jocelyn called her fucking guess who the fuck walk in? Cuckoo Sling. <laughs> she said, guess who the fuck walk in? Cuckoo Sling. So the Natural says she feel disrespected because like um Natural sh uh, she shouldn't call her toxic. And she said Natural said like she a dancer and like you know she needs to like you know dance. That's what she focus on. And then Jocelyn again like, oh, so you haven't been dancing every day but i don't i don't understand where jocelyn is getting this from now one time is natural saying like oh i haven't been dancing she's saying that bitch i'm trying to dance but y'all doing all this other shit so when it's not dancing i want to be away from everybody i understand what she's coming from like if you if you're going through your own personal shit and there's bitches around you fighting and shit like you don't want to hear that she kind of getting mad at her for no reason i really like miss natural i like how how bad is. she seemed like a really cool girl but she says she stayed away because of things that's going on back home and then jocelyn says she's being toxic she don't know why again then miss natural get mad again and call jocelyn toxic because it's like, bitch, she literally keep pouring her heart out to you, telling her why she's fucking being toxic and what's going on around her. And then you keep saying, like, oh, I don't know. Like, what the fuck, Jocelyn? Like, come on now, girl. Like, we know you the owner of the cabaret, but shit, bitch. She literally has said multiple times, I'm about to lose my son. I'm going through a divorce. Like, I know even what the fuck's going on with her, bitch. And I'm not even fucking house. And she told you ass way more times than she told me, bitch. And you still like, oh. This bitch is acting toxic. Like, girl, she's going through stuff. That's why she's acting like this. Just, girl, to stop, like, downplaying her. Like, what the fuck she going through? Like, that's, that kind of made me upset with Jocelyn because it was like, girl, you keep, like, saying, like, you don't know what's going on with her, but then she keep explaining to you over and over again that, like, she's about to lose her son, and she's like, you're a mother, so, like, you should know how that feels. So, then that's like, she's not going to go backwards for nobody because, like, she's a mom, and that's just, like, what she is at the beginning of the day. And then Jocelyn said, like, she hard on natural because, like, she sassed her up in a way and, like, was yelling at her face. But I kind of said, like, she just mad because she don't want her, like, her pedestal took away. The bitch that don't know Nobody fuck with and you got a bitch that like actually like accept in her face so like she just like she want to protect her legs they said security um hit her every day when she yelling and then that's like crying because she said y'all act like that y'all don't know what she going through and i feel like she probably crying because she mad and she can't really be mad with Jocelyn. Jocelyn really was, was being hella hard-headed like girl she trying to explain to you what's going on with her and you just like acting like she just being this up crazy ass she ain't telling you what's wrong because she laughing and she started crying and just like she don't have time for this like she gonna send her ass home. That's motherfucking video. I hope I enjoyed it, y'all. I have my next review coming out right after this one. So please uh, hold the fuck up. Thank you for watching this motherfucking video. Um, if y'all want more videos like this on Jocelyn Cabaret, make sure y'all like this video. Subscribe down below. Tell me which um what's y'all favorite moment. Make sure y'all stream my album on my motherfucking birthday. I turned 21. Y'all know I'm gonna have a look. So please go to my Instagram and follow me and wait on that look because it's gonna be a look, custom look. Custom look. Custom look. Y'all know I'm not gonna play. And I'm gonna pray.